This is the tools that I'm going to be using for the demo of the carpet uh, with my razor knife which goes in my tool pouch all the time. This is a carpet puller made by Taylor. Right there what, how that works is you put the carpet in there and then the harder you pull the tougher of a bite that that gets. So that works really well. And replacement blades for this stand up cutter. It comes you can buy this extra little point here because uh, this thing does get wore down. What happens is, see how this is starting to get slanted right there? Well, that digs on the concrete like this and it forces the carpet up on that blade right there. And that's what causes, that's what cuts the carpet. So after a while, this thing will get wore so flat to where you gotta have it standing way up like that for it to work and then it's inconvenient because if you do it like that it's going to be wore down and it's not going to work right so it does come with replacement points and this uh, 266 is the blade and if you see right here it, 265 stand up cutter is what this thing is called right here and it's it's awesome I really like that and again this is not very much money this was a little bit I think it was like a hundred and something dollars but it's it's definitely worth it I mean you see already what all I got cut already and ready to go and it's like 10 30 in the morning and I didn't get here till after 9 so it took me about an hour maybe a, maybe an hour and 20 minutes to do all this cutting that I've already got cut if you was doing that Standing around on your hands and knees, crawling on the floor, doing that with your razor knife, you would already be beat from holding the knife that tight, and plus you would not be near this far. So the cutter is definitely worth it. So with the crane stand-up carpet cutter, um, I want to change the blade out and put me a new blade in before I start on this run. And that's as easy as taking these two little thumb screws right here and just turning them out. And then your blade and your little pointer that goes under the carpet is going to be kind of stuck together right there. This is a magnet, so it's kind of magnetized right there. And that's magnetized to kind of, see that? To make it easy to put this thing in there with. Um, anytime you change your blade, you want to take, take your old blade naturally because it's already been... Um, roughed up and stuff and clean that little groove out before you put your next blade in this is going to allow your blade to fit in there nice and um, secure like it should just be careful not to cut yourself that's um, what that is in there it's all glue and stuff like that from the backing of the carpet that gets in there so each time that you change your blade you need to get that stuff out I want to be real careful doing this that your blade that you're digging with don't slip and you get yourself or that you don't bump into this point right here because it's kind of short from grinding on the concrete so this is just take your time at this point there we go okay make sure it's going to slide in and out of there all nicely all right now you can see the difference in that. That's how it should be when you put your new blade in, okay? This thing has a flat point on it as well, if you can see that flat spot right there, which actually sits right on that groove right there, just like so. Then what you do is you just take your blade and stick it right in that slot right there. Set it right there. Now you want to make sure 
how your blade fits in right there push it your blade see that gap right there you want to close that gap with your blade push your blade all the way up there that way you, oops well, you don't have to worry about it sliding out or anything okay and then you just simply set your other piece on there and screw it back down So as I said a few minutes ago, this little pokey thing right here, little spiky, slides under the carpet and pushes the carpet up to the blade which cuts it as you go, okay? So if you want to get to a starting point, right here I'm going to start at the edge. And you don't never want to go too wide whenever you're pulling up glare on carpet because if you've never done it before, trust me, it is rough. There's no easy thing about it at all. Having the right tools will make it easier though. But as far as it being easy, it ain't happening. So, I just want, I, this thing does extend out, but I like to keep it short and I put my palm right there and kind of put my weight on it right there. And it just helps me. Helps me run on down through there. Go down on that end. If you'll notice, see how it stops before it gets all the way to the wall because of the nose of that hits? I'll show you how I take care of that in a few minutes. That way I don't have to take my razor knife and make all those cuts each time I pull it up, okay? For doing occasional glue down jobs, commercial jobs, this is the tool to get if you're doing big time commercial jobs. Naturally, you're going to want to get something that's not so labor intensive. You, you know, they got machines that you can actually sit on and ride and stuff like that. So what I'll do now, bends that won't go all the way to the edge. I just take my thing and I, a few inches from the wall and I go down through there and cut across all those slits that I cut in the carpet. Now, bins I can't get up over anymore up here. I gotta have an entrance point to get this going and started so I got me three or four runs here. So now what I wanna do is start running my cuts crossways. That way I still got an entry point for my little spike each time. And I'll do the same thing on that wall. Whenever I get close enough, to, whenever I get to the, get all done with these cuts, I will make a run that way and cut all the little joined parts at the end. So you would never make cuts 
this fast with your knife crawling around on the floor. It is a little hard. Hurt your palm a little bit right there. But on the other hand, you're up off the floor. You're not bearing down real hard using your razor knife. So even if you're just doing occasional uh, glue down job, this right here is the tool to get. Okay, so now I got all these little places here are connected. So I'll just again want to go a few inches from the wall in both directions. in one way, I mean in both ways, that way all those little sections are cut. Now this whole back piece right here, this stripping and getting the wall, is going to be one piece. All these are completely separate. And this is called a crane stand-up cutter. I think it's number 268, let me look. Crane 265 stand up cutter. This is actually a replacement point for it because once this gets so wore down, like you can see right there, you have to change it out or else you got to get it at a weird angle like this, and then it's hard to push if you're holding it straight up and down. So, um, this is definitely awesome to get for cutting up blow down carpet. And uh, you've seen it took me, I don't know, three or four minutes to cut that whole room up. Now it's ready to pull up, so very good investment for cutting up glue down carpet. So this right here is a carpet puller, and it's made by Taylor Tools. You can see right there um, how it works. If you've ever pulled up commercial carpet before that's glued down, you know that it's murder on your hands. It won't take long. Your hands will be raw from the backing of the carpet. It's like uh, sandpaper or something. So this little thing right here has uh, ridges in there, if you can see that. And whenever you put carpet in there, see how that closes up right there? So it actually, whenever you pull on it, it's going to close that up. And the harder you pull, the tighter of a bite that thing gets. And it gives you a nice handle right here to grab onto rather than um, grabbing the back of the carpet. So pulling up from the carpet is never easy so that's why we cut it in strips like this right here. So that, that's actually not too bad. If you can see right here, I want to show you how I got that hooked on there. So come right over here and look this way. As it goes on there like that, all you do is pull. See that, how it gets a bite? When I pull, and then the harder you pull, the better it bites. So, and if you'll notice, see how my carpet is coming up at an angle right there? That's gonna allow it to come up easier rather than pulling it straight like that. Bring it up at an angle like this. Again, all you do is slide that right in there. There you go. That was actually not bad at all right there. Wish it would all come up like that.
you're wanting to renovate your office or something like that, you're better off to hire somebody because it is a really tough job. Okay, so that's how this little thing works. Saves your hands. Gets a real nice bite there. You got a nice handle to hold on to. And again, this is the Taylor uh, carpet puller. Uh, again, if you came to my channel looking for help or something like that, um, you found something useful for you that you could help maybe make your job a little bit easier or something, hit the subscribe button up here in the corner. Don't forget to like the video. It'll help get my videos out there when people are searching for stuff and um, helps me out. And um, hit the notification bell to get all my latest videos as they come out. Thanks again for watching.